In 2011, we were chosen as one of these study sites, one of 10 study sites in the United States for the National Council State Board of Nursing National Simulation Study, which replaced clinical time with simulation. And because of that study, simulation education evolved and changed, and it actually was the foundation for our current simulation curriculum and why we revamped things. It's evidence-based practice. Simulation allows our students to be placed in the role of the RN. Unlike going to the clinical settings in the hospital where they function underneath the RN assigned to the patient and a clinical instructor, simulation allows them to work independently as that RN to practice opportunities of critical thinking and clinical judgment. They have a simulation clinical group that they work with, um, and they care for four distinct patients throughout the day with different disease processes, um, patients that are in different environments. Maybe they're in the emergency department, maybe they're in the ICU, maybe they're on a medical surgical unit. Johnson County Community College has invested heavily into the simulation pedagogy, whether it's the technology or infrastructure that surrounds our learning environment. The real face of healthcare simulation would be the high fidelity human patient simulators. These are mannequins that can mimic anything physiologically that a human can, but the patients themselves don't come to life without the audiovisual system that the faculty here use as the patient voice. They interact with student care as the patient voice of these mannequins. Surrounding the environment is hospital sounds, hospital equipment, uh, real working equipment that students would interact with in their hospital setting. From IV pumps to pulse oximeters, code carts, anything that these students will see in their real care, we try to bring in to create an environmental fidelity to really immerse the students. Audiovisual is a key component in the education side of simulation, where they use kind of an instant replay of learning moments that occurred during that simulation. Faculty will use this to ask questions about what was occurring at that time, what the students were thinking, or their perspective that was going on through their simulation as they make choices as the RN. So I'm excited about a new space that we have um, within our simulation center. Um, it will provide us the opportunity to move forward with our curriculum. And the trends that are out there in simulation education have a lot of emphasis on virtual reality and augmented reality. We've acquired new space that has a virtual setting. It's the clinical augmented reality and virtual experiences room. Uh, this is a room that has 12 projectors that are stitched together, creating a 360 degree environment surrounding the student or learner. The walls are mapped with lasers that can be interacted with and touched. This room has the ability to have four interactive walls where I can have each simulation clinical group on a wall talking and working through problems. By utilizing this technology, we will be able to work with other programs that have medical students and pharmacy students and lab students, radiology, but all these other disciplines. It will provide us an opportunity to have that multidisciplinary interaction, which is so important to prepare them for the real world.